Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be starting a dust boot for the CNC router. So, I uh, kind of wanted to cover a couple pieces of it. I'm going to do this in, in probably a couple parts. It's a little bit uh, invention on the go. So, as you've probably seen in my prior videos, I got a Probotic Fireball V90. It's about a five or six year old machine. I haven't used it that much. One of the problems is is dust. In uh, where where we lived prior, uh, I had built a dust enclosure, but then we moved and um, it simply didn't fit in the new workshop. So one of the things, uh, trying to get back to using it, I decided I was going to work on 3D printing and designing a new type of um, dust boot and shoe. So I figured I would share it. Um, some of it might be able to be reused in other applications. Again, you know, the one thing with dust boots is they're kind of unique to um, uh, the particular machine. So I just noticed I have to screw that one down a little bit more. But the uh, the piece here with this is basically the way it's designed to work is the uh, the spindle mounts this way on the machine, obviously machine over here, and then the dust collector goes here. Now, in my original design, I had rare earth magnets holding this base uh, to the to the unit, but it just it, it didn't work very well. So what I did is I swapped it out for uh, wing nuts. I don't change the tool that much. 90% what I use is this two flute uh, eighth inch bit for cutting. So when I do want to change it, all I do is got to pop this off, and I can access the the locking nut. Uh, change my change, you know, change my tool. Actually, what happens? I don't even have to access this. I've got this quarter inch to eighth inch adapter, so I just loosen this, pop this out, pop in my new tool, put this back on, and, and we're good to go. However, one of the things, you know, again, this has been a little bit design process. So I had originally designed this to to be open down here and to put a flange or brushes around here. Um, I, I decided to opt for something different and, and then basically what, I, what I've done is I've uh, created this boot with a hole and my idea was is that I would make a much smaller clear, get maybe like a piece of clear hose or, or clear material. Actually after experimenting with this I'm going to try it like this first but then I was experimenting with some some clear tubing that that I could put over it and, and produce a boot but the compression on this wasn't as good as I had thought because I'm going to need some compression because I do want to go up to about three quarter inch material and I've got enough bit here and everything to do that and it leaves me a little bit less than a quarter inch before this base strikes the material so I should have all in all enough uh, play in this. The other piece with this too is it's cantilevered and the only piece are these three screws that bolt into um, th this uh, piece. So the one thing I got is a piece of plastic stuck under this one. I got to pop it out and screw that back in. But this this really is what holds it. So what I'm going to do is connect my tube here, zip strip it to the to the actual spindle for a extra support, so I don't have as much lateral motion. I had another one similar. You might you'll see it in some of my prior videos. However, the other thing is, again, going through this, I noticed is that this piece is a big air gap. So what I've done is I've printed out this bushing, which now goes in there and, and basically seals seals this up. So what I'll do is I'll put some silicone, seal, some sil aquarium silicone, this stuff around the base here, and then also around the flange, and insert it here. So it basically creates a seal. So what happens? When I put this on, and you know this isn't this is fairly fairly good tight, uh, and then with the uh, wing nuts, it actually gets pretty tight on there uh, all together. And then what happens is the uh, hose goes in here, the vacuum moves down here, and then uh, obviously I'm sucking all the pieces. So I've got a very strong suction, and since I'm going down to an inch and a half on the dust collector. Um, and basically four inches what I'm hoping is I, I get a lot of suction and I think I actually will just so it just you know everything kind of gets pulled up in here so we'll have to see how it goes um, again this is a little bit work in progress and I wanted to share it in kind of the onset of some of the design pieces and again 
how we can integrate 3D printing with other activities such as CNC or laser cutting, you know, to make this piece because this has all been 3D printed on my uh, uh, DaVinci uh, 10A. So you'll notice a little bit in here because of this, I, I printed this um, basically like that. So I did use some supports because of the the material. And again, I'm playing around a little bit now. What I did too is also use some clear epoxy to strengthen this a little bit. Um, to take any impacts and I might might do it on on this piece also but it, it's pretty strong actually stronger than I had actually thought so anyways I'm gonna go I'm gonna glue this piece up and, and kind of start putting some of the stuff back together because one of the other pieces I'm doing here in the shop is I'm installing sort of a, a small centralized both fume and, and uh, uh, dust extraction system so for, for both laser cutters I have as well as the CNC and the uh, bandsaw and everything so I'm going to try to try to put that together as sort of one uh, unit. I'm going to use two ventilation systems. I'm going to use one set of pipes but really two ventilation so I switch it for the laser cutters because one of the things is I don't want the uh, the, the laser cutter uh, exhausting its fumes through the system because there will be dust in the dust container and everything of, of the uh, unit. So I'll have a dust bucket and then when I use the laser I'll just cut it over to just the uh, uh, you know, so I'm using the blower part. Anyways, we'll take a look at that in the future. Wanted to share this. If you found this interesting, entertaining, hey, give it a thumbs up. It helps us make more. Watch for future videos. Also, subscribe to the channel. A lot more of this stuff uh, coming, especially over the holidays. Cheers.